This video documents our first steps in building a DTF shop outside the garage. We'll be looking at a few different options and share the whole journey with you. I started documenting this adventure when we first decided to shop around, and it took us a few months from looking around to finally picking a place that we can turn into the merch studio print shop. Did we find it? Have we moved in? Only one way to find out. Let's make t-shirts. Boxes. 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 Buckets. More boxes. Shirts. Boxes there. More boxes. More shirts. As you can see, the two businesses are pretty much taking over the house and it's getting to where we're becoming inefficient and we're not functioning at 100% just because of all the mess all around us. So, Anne and I right here decided that it might be time. Time for what? You'll see. But we're meeting someone today. Let's go. All right, here we are. It is a super foggy Tuesday morning and we are looking at two shops that we're considering moving to so this is one of them right here this one's about i think 1200 square feet uh perfect for our size right now but we're considering a somewhat bigger shop for expansion purposes in the future i don't know when we're gonna need it but this is the other shop as you can see there it's a little bit bigger so I think this is about 1,600 square feet, if I'm not mistaken. The problem with this one, I'll show you later, is that it used to be offices, so there's a whole bunch more divisions that we're gonna have to take down. Uh, probably we're gonna start off with one year because we're looking at expansion real quick. The reason why we're currently working out of our garage and we have two printers have in there. <laughs> and yeah, we have two like massive printers and so we're thinking of going to four printers so this would be a perfect setup yeah, over there he's four, he's four. He's yeah four. this would be like the pressing area for okay shirts. for shirts and this is going to be like the office area can i can i look around a little bit yeah, I like this space. so this space is about 1200 square feet which is triple the space that we currently have in the garage i really like the layout because it split the shop into two parts and we can have printers on one side and the pressing slash office area on the other side just look at how much space there is. We can do so much with this space. I think we're gonna need like probably in the beginning, probably around like 300 amps of power. Okay. Are we are we capable of doing that here? I'm gonna ask her, I'm not too sure. I don't know how they do, how they, how they mm -hmm. you know, add power to, um, I'll let her know. Yeah, and then just put in some 220 volt outlets over there, yeah, yeah. which, yeah, I think I like it. We like it. Uh, let's let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, like I said, I'll type up, uh, you know, a, a contract for you to see. And if you have any questions, you know, I'll be able to answer those for you as I'm communicating with the owner Perfect. as well about like your additions that you want to make. Right. Okay. Space. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. This is great. New year. This is great. Yeah. Exciting. So this happened in January of 2023, and it's now close to September. We really like that location and space in the shop, but the owner didn't want us to make any changes to. And that was a deal breaker for us because we had four printers that we had to get running inside the shop. The owner wanted to keep everything as is, so that was a no-go for us. We are on our way to the second space that we're looking at. The first one didn't pan out because the owner didn't want us to change uh, anything electrical in it, even with a professional electrician. So we need a different space. This one is a thousand square feet. Same thing, open space with a toilet. The owner is pretty, you know, pretty nice to talk to. I told him about what we need power wise and that we need to take down, or we might need to take down one of the glass walls so that we can get the dryer in because the dryers are hella thick. So we're on our way to uh, look at that. This one's about maybe three minutes farther than the other one from the house, but we're super excited because we need the space so that we can expand and do more things. All right, he's here. Is this your building? Yes, it is. Oh, wow, that's impressive. Oh, this is nice. So here's that second space that we looked at. It's a much newer space, and although it's smaller than the first one by about 200 square feet, I'm loving the open concept. Here we're discussing how we'll set up the electricals, and just judging from this box, we'll probably need a massive electrical upgrade. So we, we do uh, direct-to-film transfers, like stuff like this. We got some some printers. We currently have two, but we're thinking of adding two more. And, you know, we, we're just outgrowing the space. So There's like boxes everywhere. It doesn't look like a house anymore. So we're looking. I'm also loving that bright front window because all of that natural light will for sure help with making the videos look nicer. You want to look at the other space for, yeah. like, for storage? And just as we were getting hyped about this place, Tristan showed us the adjacent space that we can put our offices. All right, so 
we'll uh, we'll we'll talk more for sure. Uh, we're hoping to get out of the garage by <laughs> early to mid February. So. All right, Tristan. Thank you. You're very welcome. Have Appreciate good. you. Have a good one. What do you think, Ma? What do you think? You like it? Yeah. She likes it. You know what they say? Happy wife, happy life. So I really liked the second shop and it was perfect. The owner, Tristan, was pretty cool and he was okay with any and all modifications that needed to get done. Unfortunately, we got a little too busy and finding a shop became second priority for a bit. Needless to say, because of how busy we were, he had to rent it out to someone else, which is a bummer because that spot would have been perfect. However, we got to meet with Tristan after a while and he offered another space for us. We are on our way out. Second meeting with the owner of the shop that we're wanting to rent. He's gonna bring his contractor and we're gonna talk about the modifications that we need to put in. You know, things like how many 220 volt outlets, how many amps on the outlets and all that stuff. And also uh, how to build out the vent system for the fumes. So we are off. This space is owned by Tristan as well. It's not as pretty as the first space that we looked at, but it's more than enough space for our needs. Here, I'm talking to the electrical contractor and checking out how we'll get 350 amps in here. This space has a floor area of 850 square feet, and we should be able to fit at least four printers and shakers in here. I like that the walls are dark because I think it'll provide a great contrast when we make social media vids for merch. Studio. All right, here we are again. We are going out to uh, check out spot number four. All this finding a shop thing is super stressful and complicated but you know it's gonna help us out we have a, a few things come in so that we can further improve our efficiency but yeah uh we're on our way there it's about 15 minutes away from our house and hopefully we like it we'll see you there so this is the fourth spot that we're looking at it's been a couple of months but look at this it's a trailer house and if we get this space, I don't know how we're gonna get the dryers up here. We're probably gonna have to uh, rent the forklift. And if you've been following our TikTok, you will know how that turned out the last time. But yep, it's got some parking. I think what we're gonna do is use this for a little bit, save up for a bigger building. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Now, out of all the spots that we have looked at so far, this building right here, this is my favorite, even though it's an old converted trailer. I got really excited when I saw this because behind that building is a one acre piece of land that we can build and expand in if needed. However, the layout was a little inconvenient because of all the dividers and walls and removing them will end up costing us a lot of money because they have parts that are keeping the ceiling up. Plus walking around gave me a sense that the floors will not be sturdy enough to keep four or five of those shakers falling. Also, we kept looking at the vents because we saw a whole bunch of dead ants around them. Now, despite all of the problems, I was really attracted to the acreage and the price that he was selling at. Unfortunately, the decision was taken away from us because his potential buyer closed on the property just as we were looking at it. Honestly, I think he was using us as leverage to get his other buyer to sign, but I'm not offended because that's part of the game. It is June 3rd today, 10 in the morning, and we're headed to downtown Houston to meet with Tristan. We've decided to go with his space, and we're gonna sign the lease today. All right, let's go. Put it on the windshield? Yep. Riri! Mama! Do it. Put it on the driver's side. Oh. No, no, inside! <laughs> Open it. No, on the windshield, not the window. We're good? Yeah. We're good? <laughs> and said we look like we're just gonna go to the market. We are now at downtown Houston. We are gonna meet with our landlord, who's a pretty cool, cool guy. Very young, but very successful. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. I think I can fuse. All right, we're gonna chit chat for a little bit and we'll keep you updated on everything. Oh, we just got breakfast too, okay. so we're good. We're just done and done. All right, so <laughs> we Find just your uh, wife away for a set of kids. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Well, <laughs> we hopefully just got one the, of them will work. Your sauce is really, really one good. One out of really five, good. for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, man, thank you so much. Absolutely. Appreciate you. If any, if anybody needs right. anything around the Houston area. Absolutely. We got this guy here. We got the hookup. All right, thank you, sir. Thank Appreciate you. you. It's done. We got the keys. <laughs> do we know what we're doing, Ma? Do we, do we know what we're doing? <laughs> do we know what we're doing? Yeah. They know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing. We're just going with the flow, and you know we need to grow, so we're gonna grow. And you know what they say? You gotta risk it to get the bit. What? To eat the, the cookies. cookies. No. <laughs> okay, Ma. Biscuit. 
<laughs> to get the biscuit. You gotta risk it to get the biscuit. So here we are, here we go. Big moves, big moves, scary big moves. So, if you're our clients, I hope you grow your businesses so that we can, you can, get, you can order more from us too. <laughs> All right, after a few months of going back and forth, we finally decided on which shop to rent. It was really scary signing a five year lease and even now, I can still feel the fear. And I know that's mostly a fear of the unknown. And I have to remember that in business, scared money don't make money. Now, all we have to do is work on the electrical build out, get more equipment, and hopefully, hopefully sell more transfers. So this is becoming a little bit of a headache. And I hope you stick with us through our journey. Let's get going and let's make t-shirts.